it was a terrific series. Um, some good things came out of it for Australia. I guess the, uh, well, the, the, the three players really uh, came of age in, in Marsh, uh, Greg and Dennis Lilly. And I'm not, I'm, that order is chronological. I'm not trying to put them in any uh, order on ability. Um, that's the order they came into the Australian side. But the big thing, and probably the most important thing for the team, I think, was Dennis Lilly. For Gary Sobers, his first sighting of the 22-year-old tearaway in action would make a lasting impression. i never forget when I first saw him in the first test in Brisbane. And he walked back to his mark, and I was standing up, just outside the dressing room, by a little um, tent or and Lynn Wall was there, and I, because Lindy and I was very good friends, and I said to Lindy, I said, why is he walking, why is he going that far back? And Lindy just looked at me, said nothing, and after he bowled the first ball, I look at Lindy, <laughs> to say, I see why he's gone that far back. <laughs> Seeing Lily for the first time, and um, he, he, he got, had such a nice run up, and such a nice action and fluent, fluency, that he, he looked tremendously quick, especially on a Brisbane wicket. You know, and that there right away cast my thoughts to Perth. Because I knew what he would be like in Perth. Did he to bowl to Kavaska? We've got an appeal for court behind, he's out. And an amazing shot, he's caught and bowled. Great catch. Brilliant catch by Lilly. Caught. Yes, a magnificent catch by Stackpole. A superb catch by Stackpole. Greg is out. I remember walking out to bat, and I looked back, and I, Rodney Marsh was standing about nearly 25 yards back, and so was Ian and those. And I turned to Ian and says, what are you all doing back here? And Marsh, he said, you'll find out. <laughs> Well, anyone who uh, was uh, going to confront the greatest uh, cricketer I've ever seen, um, you know, obviously it's one of um, apprehension. Now, here's his first ball, Lily bowling to Sobers. I said to myself, wonder what, what the hell has Donald brought me into? <laughs> and the next one I gloved. Lily bowling to Sobers. Caught. Yes, he's out. Caught by Marsh. And Sobers is out for a duck. And the World Eleven are six for 46. After about four overs, I think, I went to Ian. I said, look, I just, I just don't feel well. I, I'm, I'm feeling crook. I think I might have had a virus or something, and I didn't feel that well. Um, maybe it was the 12 wheat bix that I had for breakfast. Um, I'm not sure, but I really didn't feel that well. Um, and he just, I think he said, give me one more. And I think in that one, I then got a few wickets. And then he couldn't get the ball out of my hand. Could be caught. He's out, he's caught. It was a great catch by McKenzie. Hutton out for a duck. And Lily has now taken five for 29. Could be caught. He's going to be caught. Yes, Sheehan has caught him. Caught, he's out, caught by Stackpole. Kunis caught Stackpole, bowled Lily for no score. And that was very close to the edge, he's out, he's caught. Lloyd has been caught by Marsh off the bowling of Lily for 14. And the World Eleven are all out for 59. And Dennis Lily has finished with the amazing figures of 8 for 29 from 7.1 overs. Dennis Lily, 8 for 29 from 7.1 overs. It was something special uh, to see him thundering in. And I think, you know, we knew that we had uh, a, a real live one there in Lily because apart from anything else, he was so wild and, uh, and he had hair going everywhere. I bet he wish he could say that now. I felt comfortable that I was part of the team once I got that eight for. More than, you know, he, great, there's an, an eight for, you know, isn't that brilliant? It was more the fact that I now felt that I was contributing to the team, that I felt part of the team. Uh, I think that was uh, terrific for me mentally.